Presented by Botano, a quick hitter. Once again, no holidays for us. Nick Alberga and Jay Rosell here to break down the three-year extension to Simone Benoit. Sort of coming out of nowhere, Rosie, but uh, well-deserved. 1.35 mil per season for Simone Benoit. Your initial thoughts? Yeah, he's kind of one of my, you know, he's one of my favorite guys in the back end to watch. I like the way he plays. He's what the Leafs have been starving for for quite a few years. He came in, didn't cost anything, signed him as a free agent. I like what Tree does and gives these guys a one-year deal and say, come and see if it works. Come and see if it works out. You know, and he's able to get these guys on those one-year deals. Uh, he's one of them, and he's proven to be effective. He's a plus player that's not an offensive defenseman, which is tough to do on this uh, on this team. And, you know, he plays physical, has some grit, just does a lot of the things that the back end's been starving for for a while. So to lock him up for that number... But that term is is just a no-brainer. I have not seen one negative thing about it from anybody. I couldn't agree more. I think it's a low-risk, high-reward. I think in, in the sense that if Benoit continues to play going into next season as a 3-4 defenseman, you've struck gold paying the guy $1.35 million per season, right? If he goes back to what he's been in the early part of his career, he's still, what, a 5-7 to seven guy on the back end that you're paying $1.35. Don't forget... The salary cap's going up this summer. I, I think it's a win-win for for both parties. It's good to see uh, him get some security, something he's been after uh, here in the first five, six, seven years of his NHL career. And I think from the least perspective, uh, I just think it brings some depth at the very least. But I tell you, if, if he continues to play this way in the next year, to pay a guy who I think will be a mainstay on the blue line, 1.35 mil, that's huge, man. Yeah, because, I mean, keep in mind, he's 25 years old. He's got time to still develop. I don't think if the the old saying is still true, I don't think NHL defensemen really, you know, develop to their prime until about 27 or, or later in their 20s. So we're going to have him in his prime for a number that starts with a one is kind of, you know, it, it might be laughable down the road if he continues to to develop. And, you know, again, we've needed this guy. We brought him in. He's done lots of good things. It's kind of a win-win and. -win and for himself personally, like to have that three-year deal, to have that security when you've kind of, you know, he's been up and down and he's approaching 200 games played, this will solidify him as a regular NHL defenseman. He doesn't have to worry about, you know, where he's going to be packing up his stuff. He knows he's here. He's going to play. He's in the NHL. He doesn't have to worry about anything else. And he can just focus on his game, his development, and what he can do for this team. So obviously uh, a happy day in the Benoit household as well and well-deserved. In short order, I think he's become a very useful player for Sheldon Keefe. Uh, and maybe we can put the, the past couple of weeks behind us where this guy's been a healthy scratch for reasons unknown. He just game in and game out continues to be one of their top defenders. I think even looking forward to next season right now as we have this conversation, Riley, McCabe, Timmons, and Benoit under contract. Brody, Giordano, Edmondson, Labushkin slated to become UFA. So slowly but surely... I think they're taking shape on the back end. But the Benoit story is so intriguing because they sort of took a flyer on this guy late in the offseason. They gave him a one-year deal at 775. He was a depth defenseman in a D factory in Anaheim. And uh, all of a sudden, it, it just hit. Like, if you do recall, early on in the season, dealt with injury and in training camp. Didn't really hear much from the guy, but he really carved his own way. I love these success stories. Yeah, it was kind of up around Christmas there when it's starting to, you know, you start to notice him. Was that Benoit like banging and crashing that guy? Was that big hit? Was that, you know, clearing the front of the crease and just having a little bit of chip on on the shoulder and playing with that grit? I was starting to stand out and it's like, we don't notice him doing a whole lot, you know, negatively. He's not, not really scrambling around like crazy. He's not a liability um, he's just solid, and that's something that the the Leafs back end have been looking for for a long time. And when you pair that with a little bit of sandpaper, that could be, you know, useful in the playoffs. And you know, hopefully he brings that, and he seems eager to to play that style of hockey. So everything about this uh, is is a welcome addition. You know, signing extension. It's it's all solid because he's been nothing but a breath of fresh air. And you know, you got to tip your cap to Tree Living on this one. You do, and uh, there you have it, a three-year extension to Simone Benoit, uh, $1.35 million bucks per season. Thanks for this, Rosie. You betcha. There you have it. That's Jay Rosehill. I'm Nick Alberga. Don't forget to like and subscribe at the Leafs Nation 401. We'll talk soon. Make sure to check out more of our content right here on the Leafs Nation YouTube page. we got long-form interviews. we got clips. we got epic rants by Jay Rosehill. We simply have it all, and don't forget... You can find out much more at theleafsnation.com. Thanks so much for watching.